an invasion tips for the first time invaders? Good question. What you think, guys? What you could potentially suggest to like completely new gamer? Is like invading even a good starting spot? Play like a marathon? <laughs> yeah, running a lot is definitely the way. The thing is, though, in the invasions, everything is very chaotic, and uh, you kind of, you know, to, for the sake of to win invasions against, kind, even against people that have no idea what they are doing, they have, like, a, a lot of the advantages of a regular invader. I think, like, invasions overall, is it is not, like, a good spot to start, like, a, your PvP journey with. It's rather duels are probably better. Because one of the most important things in this game is obviously... Oh, hello. Oh, well, that, that hurts. Understanding of the latency. Let's actually surprise them. Look at that. He, he doesn't see. Bonk. Oh. So yeah, like when it comes to, I think like overall invasions are not the best spot to start with because the most important thing overall in the Souls games is most likely understanding of the latency. Like if you want, you know, to PvP in these games, you need to understand how the latency works like, what works against uh, different type of the opponents, yeah? If if your opponent is, uh, for example, somewhat laggy to you, like, for example, there is, like, um, some sort of the of the higher latency to them, uh, then you have to play the game kind of differently as if you would play on the, the, on the low latency. But let's assume that you have understanding of the latency overall, for example, because, you know, you participated in duels and so on, then... My best idea that I can give to the invaders is that they have to use environment. Because if you are in the one versus X situation, in the most of cases, you don't want to fight them all at once. There are like instances when you want to do it, like for example, swap to the Stormhawk Axe and so on, and try to uh, hit all of them at once with your AoE. Yeah, sure, you can do that. Uh, but uh, overall, usually you don't want to do such things because they are simply dangerous. And uh, the best way to play around in such situations is to simply uh, try to separate your opponents. So playing the map is very important. Like understanding the map is, is the key, I would say. If you want to, to start invading and also like if, if you want to be successful at the invasions, yeah? Use environment and separate enemies, pretty much. You want to separate people and force them into 1v1s, if that's only possible. Uh, you know, small tricks, like, for example, let's say... Uh, this is normal, like, animation of the of the Estus, yeah? Of, well, Crimson Tears. Uh, but you can cancel it by simply jumping off the ledge like that. You, basically, you, you start casting your heal... And you just walk off the edge, yeah? And you can cancel recovery of money items by doing such tricks. You are getting the uh, frame advantage over your opponents uh, and you are uh, essentially uh, not allowing them to punish you. So uh, having like a small tricks that are completely related to the, to the, to the environment uh, is quite uh, important, I would say, because yeah, you need to use everything that is given to you, considering the fact you're already on humongous disadvantage like you know in this game if you are actually going to fight actual like prepared gang squad that is on top of that very shameless then uh, you are not going to have the friendly red gamer to help you with anything because there is only four free slots and there is going to be three gankers most likely yeah <laughs> next you will tell them to use pizza cutter glitch fix my head my head hey okay listen i do not think encourage glitches okay this this cancel is not a glitch by no means if you want play with glitches sure but i think it's it's kind of like it's not that fun or maybe differently, like, you know, overpowered glitches, yeah? Because you have, like, a glitches that are just, like, a, you know, that, that require skill and understanding of the game. Like, for example, perfect block. Because it's, like, 99% not intended mechanic, yeah? But, yeah, it's, it's still, like, a fine within the game. 
Holy shit, I invaded the face clan member. 